Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about creating templates in SketchUp that work directly with templates that you create in Layout. So we're just scratching the surface of how to use templates and how we can make them work together with this video. But what I want to do is something fairly simple. I want to create a template in SketchUp for architectural residential models. And I want this template to have scenes already set up for my most common views of the model. And then, uh, so I can drop any model in there or create a model in that template and it'll automatically populate. And then I wanna link it up to a template in layout as well, where when I bring that model in, it's already boom, 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 the files are just in there. So let's check out how to do that right now. All right, so I have, this is just this is just what we're gonna work with, a couple of example models. So I got just two residential structures. Um, I'm gonna just copy these and paste them around into different files as we work through here. Uh, the theory is you could actually build these from scratch and that sort of thing, but uh, I'm not gonna model a whole house on a 10 minute video. So I'm gonna start by copying this. I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna, you can see these, these, these Houses are similar size, but they have different footprint. They're they're definitely different shapes. So how how they interact with the template is going to change a little bit. That's good because we want to be able to make sure our template is flexible. So I'm just going to copy uh, all of this, uh, edit and copy that. So I'm going to grab all that and I'm going to start a brand new model. So this is just going to pull up. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's do this. Let's say file new from template. And we'll go off of just uh, our standard architectural template right here. All right, so we'll start there. So we know we're starting from a common place anybody could get to. So let's go ahead and edit, paste. We'll paste in place because we'll drop it right at the origin like it was. All right, that looks pretty good. I don't need TomTom Tom here for this. So I'm gonna start, like I said, my biggest thing with this is I'm gonna create scenes. I could use this to create a whole lot more. I could use this to add tags and all the all the stuff we talked about in the other video on setting up templates i could include that but we're in a strict with this one for this example we're just going to talk about scenes so i'm going to start with one scene which is kind of my my hero my pretty oh look at that great house scene that's kind of what i'm looking for i want to get the chimney on there so i can come from this side that looks nice i like that let's go ahead and create a scene so i'm going to go to scenes i'm going to hit plus save as new style boom good create scene all right so there we go we got that piece I'm gonna save this and I'm just gonna call it my hero. I call it isometric or whatever you want, but something that tells me what that is. All right, now I'm gonna to go to my camera and I'm gonna to go to a front view. I'm gonna to pop to that front view, good. I'm gonna to go to my camera again and say I wanna look at parallel projection and look at straight on, awesome. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of a few things. Axes don't come through to layout, so I don't have to worry about getting rid of the axes. If you don't like it, of course, you can go to view and turn axes off. But uh, more importantly, I want to get rid of this background. You do have control in layout to turn the background on and off, but I'm just going to get ahead of it because I know I don't want these two colors in here. I just want us on a white background. So I'm going to go to styles. I'm going to go to uh, here. The third tab right here is backgrounds. I'm going to turn the sky off. I'm going to click on the color for background. Just choose my plain white. There we go. That's what I want to save as my front view. Oh, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to go in here to uh, my edges and I'm gonna turn my profiles off. All right, those are what the things I wanna do. That looks awesome. Let's go to scenes. I'm gonna hit plus, create a new scene with a new style. Yes, and I'm gonna click right now before I forget and call that front. All right, so I'm gonna have that front view and then I want a left and right view and a top view. So I'm gonna make those real quick. So I'm gonna go to camera, standard, I'm gonna go to left. It's gonna flip around to the left, looks good. Plus, call that left. And it's important to note that, like I said, this, I'm keeping this as simple as possible because we want to get through this, uh, but you could do this with sections. So I go in and put in sections and save those camera views. Um, you could do this with materials. I'm doing this really simple. I could do this with white. I could actually go to change my face style to, to just monochrome where it's just white with black lines. Whatever works for you, however you want to see this. So I'm going to go to my top view also. That's the last one I want to do. And I'm going to save that. I'm gonna call it, you'll never guess, I'm gonna call it top. All right, so there we go. So I've created that, that looks good. Uh, I can flip between these views. One thing I don't like is I don't like necessarily that animation. It takes too long for me, I'm impatient. So I am gonna to go to view, animation, and I'm going to hit my settings, 
I'm gonna turn off scene transitions. That means I can just click right here and it's just gonna pop through them. That's really important to me personally. All right, so that looks good. I like that. This is all awesome. Um, I could save this, but I'm not gonna. I'm actually going to grab this model. I'm gonna take this whole model and I'm gonna delete it. And I'm gonna say file, save as template. Remember, that's what we're here. We weren't here to make a cool SketchUp model. We were here to make a template. So I'm gonna call this my arch template. And I'm just gonna put my initials on here. So nobody else can steal it from me. <laughs> Saved. All right, and this is gonna be my default template for right now. That's fine, because right now I'm gonna be showing this. So let's go ahead and hit save. All right, so that's going to close that window. And it actually, for whatever reason, my, my secondary monitor is where it try, opens new models. But here we go. All right, so here's, here's my template. I have these views, though there's nothing showing right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab my model, again, copy it. And again, this could be, this, this process could actually be of me modeling. So you could pretend this happens real fast, but I'm gonna say edit, paste in place, and boom, my model's in there. And immediately I have these already all set up, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, save as, I'm gonna save this to my desktop and I'm just gonna call this her house, we'll call it house one, save. Now I'm gonna to go to file, I'm gonna hit new, and that's gonna bring up a blank file, again, with that same template, because I made it my default. And now I can hop over here to my template examples, grab my other house. Again, just doing this because I already have them built. Control C to copy it. And then I come into my blank template. I can say Control V, I'm gonna paste it in, put it right there, and guess what? Boom, 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 done. So that's awesome. I can go to, so you, you will notice if you flip through the two of them, because this is a slightly different footprint, they fit on the page a little bit differently. So there is some stuff that I'm gonna have to take into account. This is a little bit smaller footprint of a model, so I might have to adjust a little, but there we go. That's that's all of my, my views already done. And like I said, this was simple. We could have sections in here. We'd have so much more, but this is a start. Let's go ahead and save that, save as. And we're gonna save this as house two, and we'll save it. All right, now we're going to hop into layout and I am going to go to file and I'm going to make a new one. I'm gonna choose an existing template. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a title block template. Um, I feel modern today. I'm gonna to take a size D, I want a large, large piece. So I'm going to do like this arch. No, let's go. Okay, now I'm spending too much time picking what I want to actually use. <laughs> so let's go. Yeah, let's just go to uh, architectural D size landscape. Okay, so here is my initial page. Pretty simple. So I'm going to start by file. I'm going to go to uh, insert. And I'm going to insert my, the one I started first, I'm gonna insert house one. I'm just gonna drop it here on the first page. Boom, all right, awesome. Uh, I'm just gonna set this up however I would want this first drawing. Great. Oops, except I did it on the inside page and not the cover page. I'm gonna cut that X, hop back over to cover pages. Mistakes happen, it just means you're human. Um, I'm gonna edit, paste, and then let's resize that. So there we go, that's our cover page. We come to the inside page. I'm gonna go ahead and just paste again to get the, the model window in here. But I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna say, okay, I don't want that to be the hero. I want it to be the front. All right, there we go. I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna say front. It's a, some weird scale. I wanna make that a standard scale. So I'm gonna say quarter inch equals a foot. And there we go, that model's in there, awesome. I'm gonna grab this page and I'm gonna duplicate it twice. On this page, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna slide it over like, oops, not like that. That's some 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 very rapid whoopses I just had there. There we go, resize that like that and then change that to left. There we go. And I'm going to option move, a copy of that over here, change that to right. There we go. Go to page four, grab this, change that to all right, so there we go. So now we have a set of plans pretty quickly, right? So that's was pretty quick, pretty easy. I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to save this as a new template. 
So this template is going to be my uh, arch, I can't remember what I called the other one, arch model AD. I'm gonna save that. All right, so now I have created this arch model AD uh, template. So now if I close out of this one and I say file, new, I say, okay, where do you wanna use? I'm using my templates and there's my arch model AD. I'm gonna click on that and it opens it up and look at it, it opens it. I have all my pages, but it's showing my model. Cool thing is this is super easy to change now because I have models based off of the same template that this model was in SketchUp, I can swap it out in layout real quick. Watch this, file, document setup, and in document setup, bring this over here. If I go to my references, it tells me that it's using house one. If I say relink, I can say use house two instead. And when I click open, now that's updated. If I hit close, now we're just gonna come in here. So, uh-oh, what happened? Oh, I just didn't register the first one. Ha. No, that was a fake what happened. I knew what happened. Um, but there we go. So with that, we have our new house here. Inside page done. Our profile's done. Our top done. So something to remember is all of these are in here as quarter inch equals a foot. They're also all in here as where this model is relative to the main page. So some stuff you might have to change around a little bit, right? So I might come in here to this one and to get that centered, maybe I'll just kind of resize this a little bit. It doesn't need to be so big and I can scoot this over so that page is in the middle, something like that. Come over here, same thing here, right? Scoot this one this way, scoot this one this way. Um, grab this, oops, get that in the middle. There we go. Shrink that down a little bit so it's not lapping outside. So there we go. So yeah, it takes a couple seconds to get those pages lined up again, but because the template's there, I spent a couple seconds removing model windows around instead of recreating that stuff. And again, this was a super simple template. Super simple template. What we could have actually put in here too is I could have come in and I could have put in you know title blocks for each of the pages. I could have put my standard disclaimer text. I could have put uh, a scale bar on here. I could have filled out uh, you know auto text in my title block. I could have done all that stuff so that when I switched that model, it all would have updated automatically. So very powerful, makes it very quick and very, very easy to create drawings if the stuff you do is fairly consistent, right? So not, so by, by fairly consistent, I just mean like if, if one house is a 1500 square foot house, the next building I work on is a shopping mall, the sim same template is probably not going to be awesome, but if I have you know work off of similar size models one time after another, you can save a ton of time by having templates that talk to each other from SketchUp to layout by literally a click to update them. So that's kind of what we've been leading towards with all of these template videos we've been doing. We talked about SketchUp templates for a little while. We did a thing on layout templates. Um, we've talked about auto text. We've talked about a lot of stuff and all the setting up. And this is kind of where it comes together, giving you the ability to take those pieces and connect them together. And all that works by scenes, by the way. As long as that scene's the same name, it's just going to just bring it over, plop it in. Super simple. A lot of people, myself included, and I started working layout. Oh, it's too complicated. I don't understand what's happening. It's not complicated. It's actually pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so check that out. Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, let me know what you thought about this. Have you tried this? Has this worked for you? Do you already use this? Is there a better trick in place that you have that you haven't used? Uh, or if this is brand new to you, tell me that too. I've never seen this before. Tell me more about it. Uh, if you have other ideas for videos, share those in the comments too. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.